at a spot that we found looking for something else a while back. Creek here, some bedrock and stuff, and this is actually part of the road. Not much left of it right now. But there's a creek over the hillside here. <clears throat> you can see some of the runoff. Not even a Subaru go over this. Okay. Nature moment. Wild strawberries. Those things are so yummy. Smaller than a thimble, though. <clears throat> well, the creek's down there somewhere. Later on in the year, you don't get any water in it. Looping. Oh, pretty. Something else I don't know what it is, but that's kind of cool. Well, I forgot the bug spray. It's okay. After this, not likely to. Anyway, here's that creek. Goes down there. And there's that forest monster again. Anyway, big rock comes down. You got bedrock in here. It's good looking bedrock. Crevicey. Shelf there, going up, and uh, I can't quite I think right there. It's another shelf. So I'm going to take some samples out of here. Let you know what I find. My first sample's coming out of right up in here. Big rock, big rock. There's a log jam there, but the water runs really heavy right through here. So uh, we'll see. Let me check it out. I'll let you know. I hope we don't have an earthquake. Yeah, a nice pool here. This calming moment brought to you by Mosquito Central. So this pool is about five feet deep. Full disclosure, 
I guess that gold I found was already in my pan. I forgot to scrub it before I started. I haven't found any since. But that's the way it is. So I'm going to take a few more samples and, and get out of here before I have to go to the hospital for anemia. Alright, so my brother is trying to get right there. This was too steep. He's up there in the bushes so, because we're interested in that. That little outcropping right there. Well, I don't know if we're going to get to it. He tried to climb up. And that didn't work. And coming down, it's just too steep. Because we want a sample of that. So I might have to show him how to climb. You coming back? Well, I guess Mrs. Sasquatch got him, took him home for dinner. Or maybe dessert. Anyway, I'll let you know if we actually get a sample. So, eye candy and myself. We're back at the, where I'm, me and my daughter were. Water's down a little bit. This is all underwater. We're not under, but a few inches. This is the hole I was working. But I'm going to finish my work. I think maybe. Anyway, figure out what I'm doing and I'll set up the camera and we'll get back to you. Another shot of something beautiful. <laughs> so I collected some material from above the creek we were in. It looked kind of interesting. And we got a little bit of material from the spot that we tried to climb, but we kind of just got some runoff. We'll have to come back with a rope. I'm going to pan this out and we'll see what happens. I don't know if you can see that. Probably not. But I took a picture with my camera, actually, my phone. So. We'll see. Alright, this is some of the slough off from that place we were trying to get that was black and red and on the hillside there. But it was too soft to climb up there and too steep for to get down to it on top. So we climbed back up and got some of the slough. So we're going to pan this out and see what it is. Well, we know what it is. It's old decayed rock. <laughs> we're going to pan it out and see what's in it. I'm not done yet, but that's kind of what it looks like. No, that is exactly what it looks like. Partway panned out, broken up and stuff. 
that light stuff here, that's uh, clay. See how I turned the water kind of gray. Now if you want to see a sophisticated prospector, somebody with some class and style, you look go watch Jason the Mason's channel. It's called Flower Gold Wizards. And uh, you might learn something. He, uh, in his area there, he, he's got a lot of clay down underneath the bit, and uh, he finds it in certain places there. Um, so it's always a key indicator for him. Let's we'll see what happens to this. Okay, we're going to clean out my sluice now with the gold hog mat in it. I think we'll pan it when we get home though. So, anyway, we'll get it cleaned out. You see that, I don't know if you can see it or not, it's blue here. Up here, when the water is running, like I said before, it gets all sucked up underneath this, and then when, the, when all the pressure is done, it just falls out. The thing about this gold hog matting is you have to roll it backwards to get it clean, clean because. It really grabs the stuff, which is good. When I mean grab it, it, it pinches, but it, it works it down. It's got such a good vortexing that it, uh, the stuff on top drives the other stuff down into the cracks because of the activity. See how much cleaner that is now? Open them up and the rocks fall out. Alright, cool. So I'm going to interject this here. The part you're about to see is the end of the day. We went there to the creek up, on the, up in the hills farther and looked around. Then we went down and we went down to Natchez with a, a couple of small samples of red dirt. At the end of the day, on the way home, we drove back up, got filled some buckets with some red dirt, and we took them home. So, part two of this video will be sluicing and panning out that red dirt, and then also panning out the concentrates from the river. So, I hope you enjoyed this. I appreciate you watching, and uh, it'd be great if you'd like it and subscribe and share and do all that YouTube stuff. Uh, it would help me out. I'm still not working. I can't get my employer to con talk to me about it. Maybe I'm kind of slow. I should take a hint, right? Never could. Anyway, if things go south, I'll tell you where not to buy an RV. How's that? No, I'm not like that. Never mind. Anyway, thanks for watching. So we had a little gold in that red dirt we panned at the river that I got from actually there. We dug some more out of here in that direction down the road. There's another spot that looks really good. We're going to take some of that and put it on top. And then we'll get home with it and tomorrow we'll run it through or pan it or do something. Probably get it wet and sluice it. Hang on, we'll go look at that. So we took some from around there just now. Come up the road. And uh, here's a new 
spot that we thought looked interesting, so we dug some out of there too. So we'll see what's in it. Wasn't anything in the creek. Down there below it. But uh, doesn't mean anything. Except, well, it just means that the stuff up here didn't get down there.